So they can hear us now? Like right now? Neeson said, hi, everyone. Well, hello, everybody. Costa Rica. What's up, Costa? Marcella, hi, Carol. You mm -hmm. just want to go to the grand opening in Hollywood. Well, the tickets went up, but there still will be a standby line. You can still <laughs> come visit and hang out. And then it'll be open from then on. Yes. Super excited for Funko Hollywood in November. Me lots too. Of, lots of square feet at Funko Hollywood. 40K lots. from what I understand. Yes. It. Uh, I can't wait to see it in person. <laughs> you haven't been there yet? I saw the empty building mm -hmm. when they were first getting in, but I have not seen anything uh, since construction started. Super excited. Jessica Pogue dropping in some, some sweet, sweet pumpkins there. Aww. Thank you, Jessica. Are you a pumpkin person? I I, like, I feel like I loved everything pumpkin before it became super popular. I don't eat them whole. Like bake, like do you bake them or like pumpkin I, pie or you know. I'm not that. a I'm not a pumpkin spice You're person. Pumpkin I don't spice really care for pumpkin it. pie. I mean I I'll do, eat it. Jim Williams but. loves wasabi as as do I. I love wasabi. I love wasabi. Yeah. What Jim, were you just shouting out things you <laughs> like or I love lamp. 
<laughs> Tony Tedford. I know Tony. Tony will be there. Hi, Tony. I think he's in that 10 a.m. slot. Congratulations, Tony. You got, uh, we got approval there? We got a good. There's a lot of behind the scenes nodding. And... <laughs> What's up, Shaking Stephanie? Heads. Can't see you. Yeah, well, we're going to be on in just a minute. We like to have a minute to say hi to everybody before we crank things up. So you're looking at uh, Freddie blinking every once in a while. Director Freddie. I think our so chat more hours. froze us. Too many excited fanatics. That's what's happening right now. Right, I'm ready. Y'all ready? You ready? Yes. Yeah, can you right. re restart our chat? Can we do that? Oh, bam. What's up, fanatics? Hello. Sully here at Bunko HQ. Join once again by Corinne. Nice to see you guys. Yeah. You see me. Actually, I don't see you. Second time today for some fans. You've been busy. I've been today. busy today. Yes. You did a slight wardrobe change here. What's happening? I just, I don't know. I mean, you look familiar. Let me ask, let me ask you what's happening. Do you like the look? Hmm. Twinsies. <laughs> Do the, Char <laughs> the Charlie's Angels hold a pistol up? Yeah, there it you works. go. I'm not a Charlie's Angel though. Uh, we guys, oh, we guys. We guys. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, we do a weekly, when we can, uh, unboxing. We're gonna unbox some awesome stuff for you. We got some things over there. We got some things over there. I brought some vaulted items because I know you guys uh, enjoy that. Yep. I enjoy getting those from the vault every week. Uh, but before we jump into the unboxings and our giveaway, which details on that will be coming soon, we do have a few announcements for you. Kicking things off with the Funko Photo A Day Challenge, which started yesterday with the theme of fear. We already picked our winner earlier today. That is up on Instagram. You can see, I think I picked 57 of the best photos that I could find. Uh, there were great. amazing oh, submissions. <laughs> you guys, above and beyond. Uh, and those are just randomly chosen. Then we pick a winner from those names. So you have 14 more days, including today where the theme is pets. Do it. To get your photos in, just include one Funko item and use the hashtag Funko Photo a day. That's all one hashtag. Uh, anywhere in your post. We'll look for those tomorrow and randomly pick a bunch more uh, yeah. finalists. And then one winner who will get a social media Freddy one of these fellas, and a proto, a prototype, which we don't give those out a whole lot. So it's a good opportunity for you to uh, win something to something's very special. So uh, be sure you're participating. If you have any questions about how to do it, uh, we have a blog post, I believe. If not, we have at least on our all of our uh, channels, you can look for the Funko Photo yeah. a Day prompts, and it has details on who can enter, how to enter, all that good stuff. Super fun. Yes. I, I usually participate. I was a little too busy yesterday, but I hope to uh, get some photos up there today. Do with, it. With it being pets, I've got a bunch of good pops that could uh, participate. Would you put your pop with your pet, or would it be a if I had one, I would pop that was can be considered a pet. That's the beauty of the Funko Photo a Day Challenge. You get to interpret it however you I want. I love it. So you whatever you Creative think freedom. works with pets. Nice. You do it. Uh, so speaking of Funko Hollywood, a few of you were uh, were chiming in about that before we went live with the with the video. The grand opening of the store will be November 18th, and we ask you all to hang with us while we gave details, which we did. We put up tickets uh, for people yesterday or Monday. When was that? That was yesterday. I think it was yesterday. It felt like a month ago. Uh, but that was yesterday. They were free. It was first come, first serve. But that doesn't mean if you didn't get involved in that, you can't get into the store. Correct. Uh, on the day of the grand opening, we will have a, st a standby line. And then, of course, after that day, we're going to be open to the public all the time. All the so. time. That's happening. Details on our blog on that. But the reason why I brought up Funko Hollywood at all is we still have, ending today, our Funko and Alaska Airlines giveaway. So five lucky fans will win a trip, airfare, yep. to L.A., two-night stay at a hotel right there near the uh, the opening, $50 to spend in the store, That's and I amazing. think there might be some other perks as well. Yeah. Those are the things we're guaranteeing. <laughs> That's huge. Thank you, Alaska Airlines, yes. for working with us on that. that They're is great. Huge. Alaska's amazing. They, oh, we use them yeah. all the time. Yeah. And, and when you're on that flight, be sure to get a cheese plate because <laughs> the cheese and fruit plate is beyond approach. It's good. Is it beyond approach or beyond reproach? I, I oh always man, get it wrong. words. Yeah, words. I'm not, I'm not good That's with words. Usually, if I'm writing, I'll just backspace and then type a wholly <laughs> different phrase so I don't have to worry about it. Um, so, what else are we talking about? The giveaway. So, in order to enter that giveaway, you got to share a photo or video of you with your collection or of your collection, I believe is how it's worded. Be sure you use the hashtag Funko Goes Hollywood. You'll share that on Twitter or Instagram. Following the rules that are in the blog, I may have left something out. So, it's a good idea to review that before you post. Do it. Good luck. Awesome. Yeah, hope to see you there. Were are you, you, were you, are you going? I don't, I don't. You don't know? No. You, did you get a ticket? I did not get a I'll ticket. I'll see you in the standby line. 
I mean, you might know somebody. Didn't stand by line. I plan on going. I've been asked to go by the team, so hopefully it all you works out. I just I hate to get excited. I have a rule. You don't get excited until you're actually on exactly. your way to something. Exactly. And you know, so. I usually handle mission control here at HQ when you all are out. Yeah, so. we need you. And if, I think somebody asked uh, where restrictions were geographically. For this giveaway and for many of our giveaways, because of legal restrictions on the way we do giveaways, it is limited to the U.S. Uh, for the Alaska one, I can't remember if it's U.S. and Canada or just U.S., but that's why we have the blog post with the rules. So go read that for your uh, information yeah. on exactly how that works. I don't there. want to tell you wrong. But there is a reason. We don't do it just to leave out the rest of the world, guys. Oh, we love you all. Yes. We really do. All right, you want to uh, talk about the next I do. So today's Wednesday. We have Friday coming up, which means it's Funko Fashion Friday. Um, post your pictures with your favorite apparel, including lounge fly items, so your bags, your backpacks, whatever you want to do, and please hashtag Funko Fashion Friday so we can all take a look. I just saw a, a, something come across that said, asked or voluntold? <laughs> the act of being told to volunteer. I have not used that, heard that term before. I like I that it. one. I might steal that. Yeah. All right, we already talked about Funko Photo a day. Don't forget to do your pets photo. Yep. Oh, something cool, guys. Uh, on our blog, I believe it just went up, Funko.com. If you don't uh, go visit that regularly, you should for this, and I'm sure it'll be on our social channels soon. It's uh, really cool. Hard to see from here, but on our blog, we've got some stencils for uh, those of you who are going to do some pumpkin carving that include things like a ghost with a crown and Freddy and a devil. Uh, go look on Funko.com. You want to yep, hold that in front of the I camera do. where they can see? And then they'll get my notifications that'll pop up on the screen. <laughs> so don't send any ugly texts, anyone, as they work their wanna... magic. Wait, can He's I... working on it. How do I? He's Is working on it. There you go. So there's just a few of them. Uh, go to the blog. You can print those out on some paper. You tape it on your yep. pumpkin, do your carving, do some sort of transfer Use on there. Use it as inspiration. Yeah, absolutely. And we'd love to see your, your pumpkins. Own. Oh, please. Absolutely. I don't know if there is instructions in this blog on sharing your photos. There are. Use the hashtag Funkoween <laughs> when you share your photos. Who knows? We haven't. I don't think we've promised any prizes, but we like to surprise people from time to time. All right, uh, let's see, what else we got? We talked about Funko Ween. Mm -hmm. Okay, one last thing, and then we're gonna get to the unboxing, and that is Funko Verse. You guys have seen our board game by now. We've got it in DC, we've got Golden Girls, we've got Rick and Morty, and we've got uh, the Cats and Owls, AKA Harry Potter. Yeah. Uh, all, several different versions that you can buy and play at home. They are available at retail now. So go find it at your local retail store. Purchase not even required for what I'm about to tell you. We're giving away some really cool limited edition gold Batman Funko Verse Pops. So they're the slightly smaller. Mm -hmm. You've seen them. Mm -hmm. They're cool. They're cool. Uh, in order to get that, you can't purchase it. You have to win it by sharing a photo of you uh, finding Find Funko Verse at retail and sharing that on Twitter uh, with the hashtag Funko Verse. Again, if you want details on that, it's on our blog. But we're picking a few to many random winners mm -hmm. each week. I am purposely vague on that. Uh, for the next few weeks to give those away. Uh, it's very a super limited. fun game. And the, I mean, the figures are gorgeous. What's it's up, like, Tim? Sorry, somebody shouted out to me. I can not just ignore you it. You have so many friends on here. I Everybody they there is my know? friend. Yeah, it's awesome. Until that one guy's so. be like, so he sucks. <laughs> no. <laughs> Please don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do that. All right, so that was our, our must cover off on items. A lot of fun stuff going on. Make sure you participate. People are always asking us, how do I win anything? Follow, participate, interact, yeah. engage. It's all about that. That's the reason why we see so many familiar names over there. I, I'm starting to recognize names, which is right? really cool, yeah. From our all-stars. Yeah, I can't wait to, well, one of these days, hopefully I'll meet you guys in person when I'm not manning mission control, of course. Constantine said, you're the man, Sully. Hey, Y'all don't leave Corinne out. Corinne's pretty awesome, I mean, too. I can think. Thanks, Sully. I think you get <laughs> She's amazing. All right, let's do hat. an unboxing. We do We do have a limited amount of time. Do you want me to? I think we're going to kick it off with your new friend okay, over there. Okay, this is my new bestie. Hello Kitty. So I did, I actually got to meet Hello Kitty this morning. Totally fangirled out. Did you get a, uh, is it an autograph or uh, would it be I a, mean, we, a paw print? I mean, we just, we kind of fit, psh, it was like, uh, bitch. There you go. it was awesome. It was um, in the moment. It was in the moment. So this is Hello Kitty um, Sweet Treats. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm a huge fan of treats. And she's holding a, it's like a little kitty donut. What a pro you it's are. It's amazing. I remember. You put like, that on, it on the, the, yeah. the spinner See, perfectly. I, I pay attention from time to time. <laughs> Um, with her pink bow and her 
hot pink and light pink skirt, which for me, you can never have too much pink. Um, Says the girl wearing all black <laughs> All black today, today yeah. mm -hmm. in honor of Sully. Um, here we have our 8-bit, and 8-bit, I know when we started doing these guys a few years ago, I always thought it was super cool. Um, it's a different take on the styling. I really dig that because when I, I read the side of the box that said 8-bit and I had in my mind what I thought it would look like. Right. Then, then I see that it it's out. like a combo of 8-bit and Let's our normal so or standard style. It's She's in her standard little um, blue dress with her um, red bow and then she's got like this little friend with her but I don't know if I can, I might need to just hold this little friend in front of the camera so I'm going to do that. Well, do you see that? Improv. Yeah. So we have that, and then last but not least, I think this one. See, I, I think this is my other favorite. Um, <laughs> They're shouting instructions at you. Open from the bottom. <laughs> so I was told that these are the marketing samples and not ones that we could um, that we're giving away. So I, I that means you can just destroy the from, box. I'm not just. <laughs> I'm not destroying the box. I'm, I've, I've been practicing at my desk, believe it or not. Here's a little um, kitty and a hamburger dress. And now I want a hamburger. Henry says, good. 8 bit is dope. You're right. Her bow, Her is, bow is pink. pink. Well, that That's one's red, but I think the other one, absolutely. Water the humanity. Bread. I'm sorry, Robert. <laughs> I, this is only my third like, live unboxing. I'm still learning. Robert, shout out 19 inch Hello Kitty. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Him, her and Batman that would be solving amazing. crimes together? That would be amazing. So many Hello <laughs> Kitties. Yeah. Uh, somebody asked in the stream you did earlier today if there will be any more. We don't know at this point, but based on your uh, purchases of this one, anything's possible. Or these yep. ones. Yep. So uh, get in there if you want to see more and buy the ones that are out when they're out. Are, th are these out now? Did we know if these are out now? Or they're coming very soon? These are, yeah, these are out. Yep. There yep. you go. So go find them at your local stores? Yeah. Or, uh... Oh, am, oh. I, uh, am I a box co... <sighs> here's, here's the deal. I'm oh just going to be completely honest with y'all. I get kind of nervous when I come in here, and I just want to do a really good job. So in my brain, I'm like, do it very, very carefully. But then it just... I get overwhelmed, and I... I so I'm working on the box thing. It's going to become... Um, I'm just going to get better and better at it every time. But in your personal collection, in or out? Uh, it depends. It depends. I, I don't know if that's going to sit well with the crowd. It depends. They really like you to be on one side or the other of this discussion. I, I'm, yeah, no. Okay. So, some Fair of enough. the some of the items you can see on my desk, like um, the it twos. You, Pennywise Ooh. is out of his box. Yeah. All over my desk. Like walking by the side of your desk is just a bunch of backs of Pennywise. Yeah, head. and then I can just you know if I want to like look at one, I can just I don't have to open it up again. You know. I, we see Jane Coke, local Thank friend. Thank you. You're doing good. <laughs> Angie's Toy Channel says you're doing an amazing you job. You guys are great. Don't let Thank the haters hate. Thank you. <laughs> and then a bunch of other stuff. Thank awesome. you, guys. Oh, I love you, too. All right, we're moving right along because we do have a limited amount of time with yep. you. We're looking at your friends from Pokemon here. We got a new style so of Pikachu, cute. a new mold. I'm going to bop this out of the box. I'm paying bop, attention. Bop this out. I didn't use the tool, but I did open from the bottom. <laughs> if you would be so kind as to put that sure. on the stand. It's a new mold for Pikachu, and unlike the original one that came out uh, a few months ago or a year, was it last year? Last year. Yes. Uh, that was a Target exclusive. Yep. This one, mainline. Yeah. So you should be able to find it at pretty much any retailer that carries Pops, or you can always order online. I love the way the tail and the ear and the that pose is super dynamic. Dynamic. Oh, so cute. That's the movie poster for this one will read dynamic. Dynamic. Corinne. All right, what else do we have? Speaking of Pokemon, we've got the uh, continuation of the series, A Day with Pikachu, and we've got completely thankful. He looks very, um, uh, what is that other character, the egg? Gudetama. He looks Gudetama-esque. I, like I hope I'm allowed to say that. I just had a nice meal, and now I'm thankful and sleepy. This is a post-meal Pikachu? Post-meal Pikachu. Thanksgiving. He's in a cornucopia. This would make a great table decoration oh my gosh. for your this Thanksgiving meal. is the best. I'm going to get one. Well, if you I can. You need to get one. Because we have to order these online, there's, too. And when it comes around, you guys will see there's a pear and there's a bite out of the pear. Pikachu went to town. I love details like yeah. that. That's in the back. You would yeah. never notice it if you didn't have it. Maybe you could get a spinner like this for your Thanksgiving Day dinner so everyone can see the back. It's super cute. Send in photos when you do it. Just ordered mine yesterday. Look at that. Way to go, Aww. Barry Byrne. All right. Uh, Birds are hard. Ooh. Yes, they are, Jason. 
And in a, uh, a little leftover fun from last week almost, we have another big item, and that is Squirtle. So cute. I love it. And now I, I like the I like the um, ten inch pop. I mean, they're just I like to hold them. Like sometimes I carry them around. I do them. see you with a plush <laughs> every once in a while at your desk, yeah, but I don't Chester. believe I've seen you holding a ten inch. Not pop. Pennywise. I walk around. With do my you do? Mm -hmm. I've missed it. Mm -hmm. So we've got uh, Squirtle is amazing. I'm you. You guys know I don't. I have not played Pokemon. I've been into a little bit thanks to Cameron's training on our live game yep. streams. I do love this. The, these pops, especially in the ten inch form, are just freaking awesome. And he's at Target? That is a Target yeah. exclusive. Yeah, I threw the box away, but there is a sticker on there for you, uh, like myself, who is like he the do stickers. It? Oh, Whoa! Do we need now to you're zoom just looking out? at a zoom in of his tail. No, we got it. He's got a super cute tail. Oh, oh. oh. no. Come oh. On. There we go. The spinner. We need a bigger spinner. You can do it. How about I just help? How about it a you just bit. put it on top of your head and then spin in a slow circle? Don't no. don't tempt me. <laughs> You're not you know. <laughs> they spin it. <laughs> this stuff going? is advanced, says somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, ooh, Ink Monkeys asked about a UK release. Okay. I honestly don't know. That is a great question. Uh, things work differently with the licensing uh, yes. for each zone. So I, yes. I can't speak to it. I wouldn't want to lie to you. Um but if you go onto our blog under product announcements, it should say if there's any restrictions. Good to know. All right, so that is the new stuff that we're unboxing this week. Uh, earlier today in the uh, store, can we do this now or are we waiting on this? We're waiting on this. I jumped ahead. I'm sorry. You want to do it now? All right, let's get that started. Uh, this was on the Funko Shop today. We got Witness Day, Wednesday, Wednesday, however you pronounce it. Wednesday. Depending on where you're from. It dropped on Wednesday. That is pretty perfect. <laughs> uh, let's get it out and take a closer look. Wednesday Adams. We are going to give this away. In a minute, I'll give instructions on how to enter. Does she have a stand? No stand. No stand. No stand alert. Okay. These giveaways that we're doing right here are available to uh -oh. everyone. Yes, you heard me right. Everyone. So if you're watching on any of our channels, You'll follow the instructions we'll give in a minute for a chance to win. We're going to give away that Funko Shop exclusive Wednesday. And, as always, and I had them put aside there for you is. guys, a Social Media Freddy 1.0 pop. Uh, wait, I haven't even seen that. Yeah. That's the OG, not the 2.0. <gasps> this is the OG, the 1.0. Uh, the oh. 2.0 we gave away That's the one, you... one okay. at New York Comic Con, Got the it. one lucky lady. And she's the only one that's going to get it this year. Awesome. In 2020, we'll be giving away the 2.0. Uh, but guys, it's limited, only available from us, and this is one of the only chances you have to win it. So in order to win it this week, we need another one of those sweet, sweet keywords. Uh, you came up with great a few weeks ago. I did. What do you got for us today? Um, Four or five letters, maybe six, easy to type. Um, thoughts? Let's do pumpkin. Pumpkin. P-U-M-P. -P. Normal spelling. K-I-N. Pumpkin. <laughs> P-U-M-P-K-I-N. <laughs> Pumpkin. So type that on. I love Ethan. <laughs> Ethan, good emojis. So whatever channel you're on, if you're watching, just drop Pumpkin in there. P-U-M-P-K-I-N. Yes. And to prove that we're not messing with you guys, yes, we do give away the prizes we promise on our channels. Uh, last week, we were giving away one of those sweet, uh, fantastic plastic Bat Boys designed by our, our good friend Tanner and a social media Freddy. And I picked that winner. It is Jose Kreitoff. Maybe nice. Kreitoff. I don't want to mispronounce it. I'm going with Kreitoff. Uh, I already reached out to him. He is filling out the form so we can get his prizes shipped to him. Yep. It is legit, y'all. We really do give away the stuff we say we're going to give no, away. No, absolutely. I sit next to um, an amazing gentleman who helps with that, and I know exactly when he ships it out. So, yeah. Oh, Vinley, yeah. I see your question. I will see what I can do. I hope it hasn't been sent out already. One way or another, we'll get you taken care of. All right, so that is uh, the giveaway for today. I'm going to get to questions here in a minute. You can go ahead and start dropping in if you have a question for us, because after we do the vaulted items, I got a few over here, we're going to come back and answer your questions. If you're going to ask, will we ever make something? Will we ever make more of a line? Have we ever thought of? Have you guys talked to? We can't really speak right. to any licensing stuff before right. it's signed off. That's a legal restriction. Uh, you can drop it in the comments and we'll we take a look at it. Kinda, yeah. But well, we can't answer. So we're not ignoring you because we don't love you. That's not, that's not what's happening. If you have other questions for us, drop them in there and we'll get to them in just a minute. So 
I have to make a nice break in the live. Everyone, see, we're having a break here. Uh, we are moving to the vaulted stuff. <laughs> so these items not available for purchase now at retail. Make that very clear. These are items I purchased as a fan years ago. I put them in my collection, and then we started doing this, what, a couple months ago, where yep. I bring in some vaulted items. Yeah. Knowing, oh, how weird, because we're talking horror, and, and Dima just pointed to the number 666 on the screen. There it is. Uh, how, you know, interpret that as you will. I went with horror theme. Even though we had some other random Pokemon and Hello Kitty, I went with horror theme this week. Uh, so I brought a few of my favorites. Oh, you were going to take a photo. <laughs> I don't think I'll be taking these out of the box, kids. Well, maybe Ooh. maybe this one. Maybe I the first know. two. Let's do it. First up, I got the 2015. This is the shared summer convention exclusive of Twisty from American Horror Story Freak Show, which is by far one of the most frightening pops we've ever made. And I'm going to see about uh, getting this out so we can put it on the spinner. And it has never been Ooh. opened before. What? Oh, this is a treat. I'm doing this for you guys. And, you know, I am not terrified of clowns because I do love Penny. However, this one is pretty horrific, I have to say. I couldn't even watch the show. Got this at Hot Topic. The sticker's still on there. It was $15. Ooh. It is worth a little bit more than that now. Oh, man. Put that Are you on letting me touch it? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Okay. If oh, gosh. you're wondering about these items, want to get more info on them, want to add them to your wish list, I highly suggest getting the Funko app if you don't have it already and go in there and just oh search gosh. the keyword twisty. That's how I found this one today. It's like, is that, like, look at the details on his. Oh, I love it. Wow. The shading in his, yeah, in his outfit and yeah. his clown suit. That's, that is a great it's one. It's gorgeous. Drop in some nice uh, clown emojis if you like uh, what you're seeing there with twisty. I mean, and then uh, let's, let's move along. You want to hand me back twisty there? I do. <laughs> I, I gotta keep track of my goods, y'all. Okay, so next up, I, I really enjoyed getting this one because uh, my introduction to the entire Army of Darkness slash Evil Dead franchise was the Army of Darkness movie that came out in the 90s because Metallica was in the soundtrack and so on the commercial, good. and I was like, I need to know more about this yeah. guy. So I went to the movie, really enjoyed it. I went to Comic-Con in 2014, you'll see the sticker there, and went over to the, I believe it was the Mind Style booth and got this one. Probably. Had to wait on it. It was a pretty short line, honestly. But look at, the, um, look at the handprint on the, on the packaging. Oh, a little bloody handprint. Yeah. I did not add that That's myself. That's really cool. Come on. Do you need me to show you how to do it? <laughs> <laughs> Zinger! <laughs> she got back at me. Look at those clown emojis. Man, let's get that out of there. So this is Deadite, which is a glow-in-the-dark, oh man, it's fighting me, there we go, uh, glow-in-the-dark variant, I believe this one also came in mainline that was not glow-in-the-dark, we Such can find that out in the Funko movie. app. Yeah. And oh yeah, look at this, he comes with a stand, oh man, that is the tiniest That's... little peg on a stand I have ever seen. There, there we go. go. Okay. He snaps off in my hand. <laughs> So that is a deadite, glow in the dark. That one is, uh, I looked it up in the Funko app and uh, apparently people are very excited about good. that in the aftermarket, so. Good, 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 he's gorgeous. And then finally, and then we'll get to some Q&A, uh, I'm not taking this one out of the box, I'm gonna warn you right now because Ooh. the box has special meaning as well. I, I'm a big Walking Dead fan. This is a, an exclusive that Aww. came out in 2014. I got the shared exclusive of Herschel Green. This is one of the only two where we made the head removable with a magnet inside. We did Headless Ned for mm -hmm. Game of Thrones. But this is Herschel, signed by the actor Scott Wilson. I went and met him in person. We had a nice chat about the pop and his uh, character on the show. Unfortunately, Scott passed away last yeah. October. Uh, I just looked that up this morning. I can't believe it's already been a year. But he was a lovely man. He was super nice in person. And one, I have a, probably like 30 or 40 autograph pops in my collection. And this one will always have a very special place in my heart because there's no chance of getting Scott to sign anymore, unfortunately. But uh, I really like this pop. We, you want to put that over there? People can take a closer look. I feel like I need white gloves, seriously. Okay. Oh, Herschel is right, said Anaya. I, I really loved his character on the show. I, I miss that on the show. He was a heart. We don't have a lot of hearts on the show anymore. Everyone's just angry all the time. I, I mean, I understand <laughs> why, but... Yeah, yeah, you would be too, right? I, well, I don't know. Corgi, I see what you're doing. Stop that. <laughs> Corgi said, so these are part of the giveaway? No. These are from my personal collection. I love you all, but not that much. All right, let's going to get some questions here. Uh, we're going to run through them. Brian Coy said, if you had a catchphrase, what would it be? Well, I have one, and it's <sighs> Nerds Unite. I say it at the end of every one of our Funko Funcasts, our only official Funko podcast. And then I was giving you time by talking longer Man. to see if you had something. 
Shall we come I, back? I, I think. Um, I think I was actually thinking about this. I think my catchphrase is going to be "That's a wrap" from my film days. That's good. Like I, th I just classic. I like that's it. a wrap, but not yet. We're not done yet. At the end, at we'll the do end. it at the end of this one. Okay, that was Brian's question. Nathan Lowe asked, "What's the biggest line you would like to see made, but Funko hasn't gotten the license yet?" Oh. Hmm. You know, we've done a lot Man. of the big tentpole films, TV shows. I, I I wouldn't call it a giant line, but a big fan of the Greatest American Hero from the 80s. Yes. I think that would be a lot of fun. We have done some Fast and Furious, but specifically we've never done a little film called Tokyo Drift. That's true. I know like 80 people were probably at that time going, he's about to say Tokyo Drift again. I did. I Curse love that of movie. Oak Island. Curse <laughs> of Oak Island from the from the gallery. I love that yeah. idea. Yeah. That's top pocket. That's a real Bobby Dazzler. That's a <laughs> Oh, Letter Kenny. We I want us to do that's, Letter Kenny. That's all all day. May I take a so minute to tell about, you all no. about how amazing Letter all Kenny day. is? <laughs> it is so funny. It's on Hulu, season seven just dropped. <laughs> Go watch it. Shout out to the creators of the show. Yeah. They are doing some amazing things. And I actually saw some of it with you guys, and it's super funny. It is it's super, super funny. funny. Jared Kiso, thank you for everything you did. <laughs> All right, uh, you want to take this next one? Do you guys ever have internship programs? Yes. <laughs> she we said do. definitively. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Keep an eye out on the website blog. Um, I know we're working on something formal um, to put out there. Oh. So, yeah. More to come. But if you're interested in a job, a little, little bit more of an extension of an internship, we do have our careers, careers. page. Yeah, so you go can check filter. that out. Um, there's marketing jobs currently, but yeah, keep an eye out for sure. Is my job posted? I would. I don't want to tell you. <gasps> we'll talk. This is how I find out. Kidding. All right, uh, Stephanie. No, no, I, I, no one should ever think that because that's right when you leave. Uh, Stephanie the Steffel says, what types of games will be at the Hollywood opening or what can fanatics expect? That is a great question. Um, fun. You can expect fun. Yeah. You can expect probably expect Freddy. I bet Freddy will be there. Food, I think. I think I heard I think food. there might be some food. As you can tell by our uh, indecisiveness, we don't know yet. Uh, there is a team working on yeah. that. Uh, we got Spencer who joined our team who helped put together the uh, ticket drop. Uh, yesterday, and he's also working on the details for it. So, yes. I mean, we still have over a month. Right. Over a month. <laughs> to in two days. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, they're going to get all that pulled together. I know some things are already in motion. I'm playing with you guys a little bit. Uh, but it should be fun. Uh, it, it's going to be very organized. Very organized. But fun. Mm -hmm. So, no other. Somebody. Okay, Vin Lee. Vin Lee asking the real questions. Will Nathan Fillion be at Aww. the Funko Hollywood opening? I, I can't. Uh, I haven't spoken with him. But if you know Nathan Fillion, please send him an invite. He can be my plus one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would love that. I will just tour him around all day chatting with Nathan Fillion. Uh, he will be mic'd. We will record a podcast if that happens. <laughs> that would be made amazing. Well, will he know that or not? I, will, I, mean, I would tell him. I would never do anything that unethical to the man. Yeah, we don't joke with Nathan. No, no joking about Nathan no. or, or Felicia. Okay, so that was the questions. Uh, quick rundown reminder in case you're watching this after it's already been aired live. You can still enter to win the prize pack that we're giving away this week, which includes a social media Freddy Funko Pop and the Funko Shop exclusive Witness Day. Go? I say it on that way on purpose Kyle Wednesday. Kyle um, you, you saw it. It was online <laughs> Thanks, earlier. Kyle. All you got to do is drop that keyword. Oh, there we go. Drop that keyword in there, which was pumpkin. 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 P U M P K I N. Um, so I think that's it. Pitter patter. Let's get at her. Okay. It's time to end this thing. Do you want to say your phrase and then I'll say mine or should I say mine and then you say yours? How about you go first? That's La a wrap! Ladies first. Wait, I wasn't ready. <sighs> okay, ready? Three, two, one. That's a wrap! Nerds Unite!